Hi, this is Lisa, the owner of Vintage Gypsy and the admin for the Silhouette Cameo School for Newbies. Um, I'm going to show you one way that you can actually arch or curve your words. Um, a lot of people are trying to do that in 4.1, so I'll show you real quickly with the advanced warp function. Um, that is available in Designer Edition and higher. If you have basic, you don't have this fun part. Um, so you would have to get Designer Edition or upgrade to Designer Edition or higher. So let me show you real quick. So we're going to click on the A to bring up our words so we can type in. So we're going to warp some words today if I can type. Then I'm going to go over to the right hand toolbar to our textile panel. It's going to open up and we can choose a font. Um, I'm going to use this one. I use this one a lot. Let's make this bigger so you can see what I'm going to do. Okay, so. Um, my buttons are bigger because I have set up my preferences. If your buttons are teeny tiny, you can find my video on your preferences, how to set those up on my YouTube channel. You can just search the name Lisa Faber and it should come up and you should be able to find it. It is a video called Preferences. Okay, so I'm going to come down to the hidden icon on mine it is. You see this thing that looks like it's um, almost like a fence? So we're going to click on that. It says open warp panel. We're going to come to the first tab. A lot of these panels are, you think of like filing cabinets. This is a filing cabinet and the inside that I have two um, little drawers. Now if you do not have designer edition or higher, or I should say designer plus or higher, you will not have this second choice. You only have this one. So make sure your words are selected. Warp selected shapes. Now it's going to come up and it actually looks like it's a fence or almost an invisible fence. So what you do to warp those is you see these red dots. The red dots will allow you to push the words up. See how that works? And basically I'm just curving them. I can bring them back out if I want to or curve them back up. That is one way to be able to go in and curve your words if you would like to. You can click on the red dot at the top and you can squish this part down. Or you can make it go up higher because it would actually look like the whole thing is curved. And you just keep playing with this to figure out what the dimension is you're trying to get. You want more of an arch? Now, once you go in and release this warp, you cannot go back in and redo it. So the way you get this to say, if I click off of this, it doesn't stay. You have to go back to your panel and release the warp. You can do more divisions. So if you want to have more of a curve, you can change these divisions. Your columns can be changed so you can have more control. And so can your rows. Okay. But this is just a basic warp on how to go in and do that. So release the warp. Now you're going to notice everything is ungrouped. You need to group it back. So click, make sure everything is selected. I use my quick access toolbar at the top to group selected shapes, or you can right click. And that is how you do a quick warp on using the warp function and the silhouette cameo. So let's try one more. We'll do this one in all caps here. Okay, so there's warp. Then I go in to the right, open up my textile panel, make this bigger, change my font, because you know I don't want that crappy font. Go down to where it looks like it's a, like somebody's crushing a fence. I always think of the Incredible Hulk as crushing a fence. Click on that. We're going to warp the selected shape. This is the one we have selected. Click here. Now this is where I can go in and change these dimensions. Maybe I want to have less divisions. So I now have two. I can have more columns. That gives me the opportunity to tweak it even more. So if I had two, see how the difference is now though? You could actually warp it even more if you wanted to. The advantage to this is you can actually warp things to the shape of something that you're trying to create. So if you had a shape of some sort, you could warp things to that. Okay, you can change your rows, how many rows you would like. Okay, if you ever don't like it, click your undo button. And then to release it or go back to 
where you can use this in something. If I don't release it, it stays like this until I actually release it, release the warp, and then you need to group. Let me select everything. I do not want to select that one now. And you can select in individually by highlighting, holding your shift key down and selecting, and then I group. So that is one way to go in and do your grouping. Okay. So there you go. There's a couple ways that we can group things um, using the warp function on 4.1. If you guys have any questions, you can give me a holler on the group. Go ahead and join the Facebook group if you have not. So that came to school for newbies. I also have things listed on my business page, vintagegypsy73.com. Thank you.